Hello and welcome. This is Gunjo Carl. A Kerbal enthusiast named EVA Reentry Strangelove put up a challenge to crash Kerbals into atmospheres. Well, I happen to be an inadvertent master at this, so sign me up. For an earlier challenge to put a flag on everything in one sitting, I made this ship. The ship of my dreams. The uh, everywhere goer. That's ah, beautiful. Let's crash into lathe. But I've done this the normal way enough times, so let's try something a bit different. Won't use a hidden feature in KSP, or more accurately, a missing feature. But first, we got to build up 20 kilometers a second of ramming speed and aim it at the South Pole. How you doing there, Magda? This first one is going to be for the uh, maximum momentarily survivable acceleration. You might be able to do it a little faster if you did it on, say, Jewel, but um, what can I say? Lathe is a little bit of a giant to me, so um, <laughs> perhaps some catharsis in doing it here. What you're going to see is we've got all of our oh, momentum just, just over the surface of the South Pole there. We're going to um, fling Magda down into it. Now you'll notice if we choose our timings just right, we can have her slip through that upper atmosphere. I call this tunneling because it's kind of like uh, what electrons do when they tunnel. Well, according to the, according to the... Um, Normal conventions anyway. So just before we hit periapse, where her uh, existence would be briefly ended, we're going to hop back into her shoes. Uh, hit the wrong button here. We're going to save, and... <laughs> Did you blink? You might have missed it. We skipped off of the atmosphere. That was a little too quick. Here's right before. It's a still shot. And here's a moment afterwards. You can see uh, she she is still uh, living and breathing in the flesh, but uh, very much on fire and fast. I forget what I calculated that out to. Is boom! That's another run of the same thing. It's about two and a half mega G's, so pretty ridiculous. Um, so I I'm not much of a Kerbal killer. I I like keeping them you know nice and happy. I like my Kerbals. So this next one is to achieve the maximum persistently survivable acceleration. Did you hear that, Magda? Persistently survivable. You should be smiling. The story here is going to be more or less the same. We're going to um, hop on over into the radar center, whatever you call this thing. Let her slip on through the atmosphere. And in this case, I chose it, um, the, uh, the periapse, so it's a little bit higher, and that's going to let her go past the periapse. Um, any periapse on lathe lower than 2,000, I think, is lethal. So we're going to go just past that periapse. We're going to hop back into our shoes. That's going to change in a small way how the physics handles her situation. Also, she's sitting on top of her ship. And um, the shear force created between her and her ship is going to soak up a lot of that extra... Oof! <laughs> soak up a lot of that extra speed. So she winds up surviving and not turning into a pile of debris in outer space. If uh, you guys didn't know, by the way, that's actually... Oh, and look, there's the ship back there. Moments later, but it's already seven kilometers away. How is the trip, Magta? Yeah, that's good. Look, that's gorgeous. Man. So uh, here's the still frame a moment before. Here's the still frame just as soon as physics picks up, but before it's decided to slow us down yet. And there's one frame later. That's 0.03 seconds for this. We've slowed all the way down. Oh, and there it is again. Boy, that's something. So I chose the physics time speed of uh, 0.03 on this as the max. Um, and here she is, gently coasting back down. Well, good trip, Magda. I've heard that first one is how Jeb wants uh, wants to be cremated. How his ash scattered to space at uh, <laughs> 60,000 kilometers a second. Okay, so um, the way I calculate acceleration on this is literally there's one physics time step and the physics time step is dot oh three is what i set it to so all right had a good time there take it easy